Which Jag had an overdrive? I'd say you could probably get one in a Mark II, I think. I know Triumph did, because the Dolly Sprint had an overdrive. Good afternoon. What? what? James May, that's just cheating. You can't just get in the backup car and tow your own car on a trailer. Well, if you have a racehorse, say, you don't ride it to Aintree, do you? You put it in a horse box. And if you have a valuable classic racing car, you take it to the racetrack on a trailer. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking my value car to the next event. I don't want to be rude, old chap, but you're making a complete hash of this, aren't you? <laughs> the thing I'm most interested in is... How bad must the Crosley have been for you to get into a car with titties and beer written on the side of it? Well, it's a very good point, and I did give it a great deal of thought, but I decided I, I can deal with it. After a long drive, we eventually arrived in Krakow, which, it turns out, is one of Europe's absolute gems. One of the most cultured places probably in the world, this. Yeah. I wouldn't want to arrive here in a car that said titties and beer on it, that's for sure. Art, music, architecture, titties and beer. I'm aware of all this, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't let that woman look round. Oh. No. I'll just pretend I'm scratching my face because I'm in deep thought. We've always had quite a few fans in Poland, but I was hoping that our popularity had faded. Sadly, however... Hey, Mr. James. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>